Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we make cool projects much like this one right here. Today we are making these cool 3D printed like card cutout things. So um, let's jump into it. Got these off of Thingiverse. They're made by, I'll put the link in the description below, of the guy who designed these. Because um, they look really nice and I'm excited about them. So we're going to start with the NCC Enterprise. So let's just cut this apart real quick. So I'm just using these tweezers here to cut them apart. It's pretty simple. These are just a little like side cuts that come with the um, printer. I printed this on my um, Arion printer. It prints okay and I really like it because it's really quiet. So if you're um, looking for a really quiet printer, check the, um, let me know in the comments and I will link it for you. Okay, so this is the Enterprise. So there's just like a main body. That's upright. And then we're gonna put the main like flight deck on there. So it just slips together just like this. Not sure which way is up. Should be pretty simple. Okay. If it doesn't go together well, I could always trim it, but it looks great. So it's just like that. And that's pretty cool. It looks like the Enterprise, so let me stick the, the this part on. So I gotta say these parts are really small and intricate, so you gotta have something that prints pretty decent to make it look nice, and you gotta have a nice surface, oh, bottom layer surface finish. Yeah, just like that we have Starship Enterprise. Let's get to the next one. Okay, so this is the um, C-130 Hercules, as you see right there, and it might take a little bit more um, assembly because it's a pretty intricate thing. I'm actually going to take a knife and cut out some of these grooves. You know, every every printer is going to print differently, and I think my printer just um, printed a hair like small. It printed a hair small, and that could all be dialed in in settings. So I just take the front little little guy there and I'm gonna push it into the propeller on my desk, just like that. And then we have like a little engine pod, push it into the aircraft itself. This model is a little bit intricate. It's kind of difficult to assemble. Not really difficult, it's just kind of intricate. I love how that meshes together with the rest of the airplane. Looks really nice. Let me get the rest of them in there. So don't assemble the outer motor pods first because then you can't get to the inner ones as easy. But we'll make do. And this is turning out really cool. So next, um, I think we just have to put the, the elevator on. So this is the rudder here and then I'm gonna put the elevator on. Go and it just snaps into place just like that. So this is a really cool and detailed model. I mean, it, it's pretty simple print, but it's a pretty detailed model and it looks really cool. Like you even see the, the front window hatch there, but I really like it. Okay, so with two out of the way, we are now tackling the Mosquito. Actually, we've never heard of this plane, but we're gonna see how it looks when it's assembled. So I'm just gonna cut away all the parts here.
Okay, so I got this side in and that took quite a bit of persuasion, but I can recommend use your table as your friend, put it on the edge of the table, and then you can push down into it just like that. And I had to trim away some of this because it's a pretty intricately fitting part. Take your knife if you need to. You might not need to as your printer um, prints a little bit more conservatively. Um, and then I just you can just make the slot a little bit bigger. You can do the same on this side too. And then you can just use the table as your friend. Push down on the front side. Push it all the way in and push down on the back side. And it goes in fairly well. It looks really nice after it's done. So now we got our feet. We can take and we can put our propellers in just like this. Okay, we got one side in. It just snapped into place just so easily with a satisfying snap. And we got the other propeller in just like that. So now the only thing we have to do is we have to put this thing on here that keeps the um, the fuselage aligned vertically with the wing, which is kind of smart, but it's kind of hard to get on there after you put the, the, the legs and the, the wheels on. I would suggest doing that beforehand. Okay, so that went in fairly easy with a little bit of help, and yeah, and that really ridges everything up and it makes it nice and strong, So, um, which is awesome. So now I'm just gonna put the elevator on right here, just stick it in the back, that should be fairly straightforward. And that looks so cool. I love the detail in the, in the fuselage, you can see as it goes through the windows and everything. I just love this two-dimensional, like, stylistic design. This looks really cool. So let's get on to the, the final airplane, the F-16 Fighting Falcon. So it's this one right here. And remember guys, all the links for these will be in the description below. Check out um, his work in Thingiverse. These look really cool. So this is the simplest one yet. It's just two, two pieces. And this one actually did warp a little bit in printing, but it should be fine. So it just sticks together just like this. Just push one side in the other. And I actually made a foam board version of this where I laser cut out and they look really cool. So if you want me to show you guys that, I can leave it a comment in the description below. And if you have any other questions or suggestions on new videos, just leave it in the comments below. And that is a really cool, I think it's an F-16, that's what it said there, right? Yeah, it's an F-16. F it's just a really simple, really cool model that you can assemble in minutes. Okay guys, so we got the whole fleet here. It looks really nice. And I think all of these turned out really cool. So if you want to check these out in the description below, right below that subscribe button, you can do that. And um, while you're there, click that subscribe button and follow my channel. I super appreciate it guys and um, like this video and everything all that above. I really love these models and they were really cool to assemble. These would be really cool little like gifts for kids and they can assemble them with no like real tools. Just a simple pair of um, scissors at that. And yeah, so a little bit of supervision and, and they're really cool models. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, so check these out in the description below. Right below that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.